Timor's conversation with Mr. Pledger. So this is based off of when I left Seymour, when I was a senior and he was a freshman, I told him freshman year is always legit, but all, all the other years gonna be cool. Can you keep it up? And here's what happened. So I go through my bad phase where I lose motivation, where I drop out of college, where Seymour has ammo on me to use against me saying that I don't try hard enough and that I'm bitching and complaining where it could be a whole lot worse and I have none to do, you know. So that's when I make the bet and this whole video is referencing what Seymour went through when I left and if you check out my favorite teacher video is when you figure out that Mr. Pledger is my favorite teacher and what happened was this I used to drive Mr. Pledger crazy talking about girls 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 and Mr. Pledger kept on talking about no you're talented no you're talented no you're talented but insane focus on your talent fuck girls they all say that but I understood why now but what did he go through with Seymour Seymour had this thing where he called me the minute he became a sophomore saying that I shouldn't have played hard to get with all those women freshman year and I should have took advantage of how much ass I was getting freshman year and you know what it was at the time where I was critically depressed where I couldn't even take advantage of the situation where I couldn't take advantage of the fact that he just opened up to me that I'm right because of how much I'm supposedly doing wrong. I still don't have college. I still don't have this and that. And we're just having a casual conversation. He's still mentally stable more than me because at least things are going his way. He's still in high school anymore. He doesn't know that the world's gonna spit you out if you don't step it up. So here's what happens. Seymour gets his rep torn down the minute they figured out that he couldn't fight. And everything starts collapsing because, like I said in the other video, Seymour was very skinny, very scrawny, very, I would say, he got cocky because of all the girls he was getting, but he wasn't physically strong and he wasn't able to keep those girls because what was going to happen when a guy who was stronger than him tried to claim this girl? And he ended up going to the hospital and it ruined his reputation because he wasn't gangster it wasn't anything so that's what happened when he stayed the same and he's like what are you expecting from me people is like now they're expecting everything and more when originally they were just asking for his looks now they're asking for personality and then they figured out that Seymour couldn't make a joke they accepted him for who he was front-facing yeah, in their eyes, he might have been sexy, but get right past it, he was boring as fuck. And it happened every single day, and he was literally torturing Mr. Pledger way more than I was all throughout high school because of the main fact that me and Seymour were two different tiers. And the thing about it was I couldn't do nothing with my tier, but he had opportunities to take it home and the reason why he had opportunities is because they knew that they could control him they knew that he wasn't going to ask questions they know he wasn't going to do this and that he just went with the flow and the popularity only lasted so long until he, they put him in a situation where he had to back it up so he puts Mr. Pledger through a series of events that literally tell him why I was gonna win the bet. Okay, so first off, when I sent him that text message, he tried to call me arrogant, this and that, because I made a bet when he caught me off guard, saying that, yo, you're so fucking weak and stuff like that, you need to pick yourself back up and shit. So I told him, okay, well, let's see where you're at three years from now. And so I text him that, and he shows Mr. Pledger, and Mr. Pledger automatically says, Eris won. And he's like, how? How can Eris win? He's not in college. He's not going to school. He's not doing none of that. And basically, Mr. Pritchard tries to tell him that Eris tried over and over again. And that because Eris lived longer, he can see how this is going to pan out. And the bad part about this was 
because I tried harder. Everything that Seymour did was leaked. Everything he wasn't was leaked so much. With me, it was obvious. My freshman year started off as a rocket or crashed down really quickly towards the end where literally, no matter what I did, because of my reputation being killed my freshman year, I could not bring it back. No matter how hard I tried those four years, and my situation was completely different from Seymour's. My sophomore year had to do with people like Arturo and everybody I knew that I got to learn after I adapted to hip hop going to our continuation school. If you don't know what that is, it's kind of like a juvie school, you know, when you have bad grades and you need to go to another high school and it really looks bad when you apply for college because it literally means that you can't pass public school. You can't be seen in a public school. Like, so all my connections and everything from freshman year, everybody I shower box with, everybody I learned how to literally smoke weed with, everybody I did literally bad stuff for freshman year with the continuation school. And I was left with nothing but the squares after I just adapted and literally became the most popular guy in school. Nobody liked that fucking school, but they had the choice to go to a continuation school and they did that. So with me, I had to be on my best behavior because fucking I couldn't be like them and literally I tried telling them the shit that I could get away with for them and it wasn't working on all the other classes and I had to adapt to new people again oh this is hell again what happened to the competition what happened to everybody listening to rap now everybody's accepting everybody for who they are this is hell again literally and Seymour fared right in because he was tall, he was skinny, and he had nothing going for him besides what was front facing. But he wasn't trying to be something he wasn't, but that's what kept him from breaking his boundaries and advancing to new levels. So one time, Seymour just gets out of a relationship and the girl who Seymour was just going out with starts getting gorilla in front of him at lunch and this guy is just slapping her ass over and over again torturing Seymour literally doing the thug shit that I saw when I was in junior high that happened to me but because I had more conditioning and I kept on trying and I was solid as steel I don't know how how he got through that because that was horrifying and then he relays the message to Mr. Pudger saying Mr. Pudger this guy was slapping my girl's ass over and over again. I don't know what to do. This guy look, is so cool. Uh, uh. And so, Mr. Pudger is all like, yeah. <laughs> but it seriously gets worse and worse and worse every single time I hear about Mr. Pudger. And one of my main girls when I was advancing and he wasn't but he was still kind of cool because he still was a teenager he had the young mind to fall back on he could still you know get overwhelmed by entertainment because of the fact that when you're young and the dopamine still fresh and you haven't seen the world for what it is yet he still can survive but me I was seeing the ugly truth over and over again so me my girl who I stated in the full male outcome this video actually was the same age as Seymour and I was working hard trying to get with her and Seymour was kept on telling me how he knew her but he really didn't know her but he was in the popular group the whole time so she knew so he knew who she was but he kept on spreading rumors and stuff like that the closer the closer I got to her I I heard that your girl was getting kissed by someone else is what Seymour told me and so I kept on trying to tell Seymour like yo I keep on trying and I accept that because of my position but even though I was desperate I was getting better and better at better at getting with women and I was getting better and better at rapping I was getting better at better with my anime and I was doing a whole bunch but I was going through so much shit it's like it, this isn't fucking worth it because of how much pain I'm going through I'm still getting roasted I'm still fucking virgin this is when I'm like 19 you know 18 to 19 to 20 is when I had my depression years like literally when I first got out of high school and 
until he sold me this dream that everything was gonna get better and got 10 times worse. Once I went to college, I realized I can't just have a personality anymore to get women. I have to have resources now. I have to compete with other people who have cars now and shit, and it really fucking sucked. And so, anyway, back to the girl who I was talking about, who literally, we were getting closer and closer and closer. So all of a sudden, Seymour spreads this lie and I get fired at my job because I'm thinking about Seymour and how she already kissed someone after I tried so hard to get with her and she broke up with her boyfriend if you watch the Full Metal Alchemist video where literally it states that I was looking for my slot and so Seymour starts talking sh shit while I'm wondering where my slot is saying that yo she's younger than you you might as well throw in the towel this is what the situation is saying that I might as well you know give up because she's younger than you you know you need to give up this high school shit you know playing pussy is nothing well literally this guy is still a fucking virgin but he has tons of social validation he's still shoving it in my face so when i finally get the skill to pull her with ease when i finally get my third date with this girl is literally when seymour is not about to graduate he just got in trouble literally everything's going haywire and so i'm gonna come up and he's literally on the come down and i was trying to tell him that yo i don't think you know much about my girls like you think you do you know because at the time she was dating someone her age at the time but she was also fucking with me heavy and i'm all like dude this is what's supposed to happen so literally she has a picture with this guy in prom but I just had a bomb ass third date with her. And so Seymour tries to flex on me on Facebook saying, oh, I saw her with that one nigga. And I'm all like, oh, okay, Seymour. So this is me, me with all the fucking training that I did within the first metaphoric hyperbolic time chamber. And literally, I flex on him when he tried to say ah ha ha it's all good trying to mr petra be saying oh it's just another girl this and that so he's sitting over here in his world not knowing what just happened not knowing i just had a date with this girl and so seymour says oh it's okay buddy so i sent him a picture saying that oh so she was going with that nigga then how you explain this and so i sent him a picture of me and her on my third date and seymour's like good for you and literally blocks me right after I prove him wrong. And I'm like, yes. It was over at that point. I was always the master. I was always schooling Seymour because I didn't sell for less. Because I broke through my limits is why I got so many hot girls. But I couldn't bring a home because with great power comes great responsibility. I need to learn that if I am going to get a bitch pregnant, I need to learn how to protect my children. I need to get muscles. I need to do this and that. And so how this ties in with Mr. Pleasure is Mr. Pleasure kept on telling him because Eris kept on trying is why he won. And the thing is, is, oh, but Eris is still doing back. Eris is still doing back. And so Mr. Pleasure isn't telling him shit, but he's telling him to literally don't judge me for my senior year because I've known Mr. Pudger ever since I've been in junior high. And I've tried to tell him that me and him are OG. And me and him know a whole lot more about this war than you think.